Hi, I'm Dr. May Seibel, editor of My Menopause Magazine. I've just come back from Dallas, Texas at the annual meeting of the North American Menopause Society and I took the opportunity to do a video interview of a number of my colleagues about their latest research. Here's one of those videos now. Let me just ask you to state your name for me. Doris Taylor. And you are? I'm the Director of Regenerative Medicine Research at the Texas Heart Institute in Houston. One of the things I just heard you talk about was where we are today with regenerating heart tissue so that people can have a stronger heart for a longer period of time. I wonder if you could first say uh, what led you to do this particular line of work? Why did you think you could like build the heart back up? A number of years ago, gene therapy was a treatment that we all thought might play a role in the ability of the heart to repair itself. Bottom line is, when, we have, when you have a heart attack, when you have heart disease, unlike many other organs and tissues, your heart doesn't seem to have the capacity to repair itself well. Mm -hmm. That's in part because when you have a heart attack, if you don't actually get treatment within four hours, a large number of heart cells are going to die, which is, by the way, why they say get to the hospital within four, immediately after you've had a heart, a heart attack. attack. Right. And women typically don't. Men do, women don't. Well, they have different symptoms, so that's part of that's it. That's part of it. Another part of it is women typically say, is the house clean? Are the kids taken that care is of? Is I don't want an ambulance coming in here and seeing my house looking like right. this. Let me clean up a little bit first, etc. And women take their husbands to the hospital. I'm not sure the data show that the converse is always true. At any rate... Well, they should call anyway. I don't want to digress. If you have a heart attack, if you think you have one, call 911. But once you get there, tell us about... So, so the bottom line is, when you have a heart attack, your heart can't repair itself right away. And we wanted to begin to treat the underlying injury, that scarred, damaged region of heart, myocardium, rather than trying to make the rest of the heart work harder. Mm -hmm. So what we said is, well, wouldn't it be nice if we could re actually either repair the cells that are damaged or replace the cells that got killed during a heart attack? So about 50, 15 or 16 years ago now, about 15 or 16 years ago now, we and others started doing cell therapy. Taking your stem cells from your bone marrow, your blood, your fat, your muscle, transplanting them into the heart after a heart attack to see if we could replace the missing cells and actually begin to repair the damage. All of that is predicated on, all that depends on the fact that you have stem cells that we can transplant. And what we're finding is that the numbers of stem cells that we have in our bone marrow, blood, etc., differ significantly in men and women. And that in fact, women have many more. Fast forward 15 years, and a number of these trials have been only marginally positive. And one of the questions may be whether or not we're giving, if, if I'm giving you your cells and you're a man, and most of the trials are done in men, maybe your cells, you don't have enough cells. Too few cells to make the data accurate. To make the repair possible. Mm -hmm. Or maybe your cells don't work as well. And there are very few women enrolled in these studies, but maybe if we were using women or female cells, we might get a very different outcome. So now we're trying Where to... Where do these cells come from? Typically they come from either your bone marrow, your blood, fat, muscle, those are the main places so these days. So you can get your plastic surgeon to get rid of your hips, give you your stem cells, and put them in after a heart attack, and theoretically, get your hips in shape and your heart in shape. <laughs> there actually are, uh, 
several clinical studies going on with adipose-derived stem cells, and they appear to be one of the more potent cell types for growing new blood vessels, etc. So you think it's possible that in the future, and possibly within the foreseeable future, that when people have a heart attack, it may be possible to take stem cells and help them actually build up the muscle in their heart. Absolutely, no question about it. I think in the next two to three years, you'll see some cells actually get approved for use in the U.S. Some of these cells are actually already being used in Europe mm -hmm. and in Australia. And so will these be cells that are generically made and that are used, or will every person have to have her own stem cells? Many people want their own stem cells. But let's say you couldn't get your own stem cells. There are also some studies underway using stem cells. Remember I told you stem cells decrease as we age? Right. There are also some studies underway using stem cells from a young 18 to 20 year old that have been harvested and grown to billions of cells in, in a laboratory and those cells are actually being given to a number of different patients in several clinical trials. So just like we have egg donation, we may have stem cell donation that can repair your absolutely. aging body as opposed to create you a new one. Right, absolutely. Now we're not averse to creating you a new one either if you need it. Well, you're talking point. about a new heart now, not a new baby. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you.